Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another prediction video on the channel. Now in today's video I've decided that instead of going through every single team and what their record's going to be for the whole season that we're going to do it week by week instead because I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get them all out and I think if I'm doing it week by week, by week they'll probably be better as well. So this week we're doing week one obviously. We're going to be going through every game and saying who I think is going to win. And yeah, um, so each week we'll go through it and hopefully uh, we'll get them right and we'll see what kind of records they would have had compared to what they will, um, if I was right, compared to what they actually have and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's do it. So the Kansas City Chiefs at home to the Houston Texans on Thursday night I'm going with a victory for the Kansas City Chiefs uh Super Bowl champions you know I just I just think they're amazing um I don't think they'll destroy the Texans the Texans are a good team and uh they put up a decent fight against them when they played them in the playoffs I know they uh fucked up a big lead but they still Put up a good fight. They still played well for the majority of the game, so I think it'd be close. They've both got good quarterbacks. Um, uh, I'd say Texans probably got a slightly better running game, with David Johnson. Uh, but wide receivers and tight ends both go to Kansas City. Tyreek Hill is amazing. Travis Kelsey's amazing. You know, Sammy Watkins and Michael Hardman are both decent, very fast. And although Texans do have good players, Wolf Fuller, Brandon Cooks, uh, they they're not gonna have enough for Kansas City. The um, the Chiefs will just gather too much firepower for them, and they won't win. And I think they'll win by a couple of scores as well. Um, I don't think they'd completely annihilate them, but I think it'd be a comfortable enough victory. Uh, then I've got the Bills beating the New York Jets. Um, yeah, I can't see the Jets doing much this year. I don't think Adam Gase is a great coach. And, yeah, this, the Bills are good. They've got good defence. Josh Allen's a decent quarterback. And I think the Bills have a decent season for them. Um... Don't think they'll win the division. I think the Patriots are still going to win the division. A lot of people think that the uh, Bills will win this year, but I think the Patriots will still win. Um, I don't think they're as bad as some people make it out. Uh, but yeah, I think the Bills are going to win this game. Uh, then I have, just as we were talking about the Patriots, I have the Patriots beating the Dolphins. Uh, I think the Patriots will comfortably beat the Dolphins, to be honest. Um... I might watch this game, uh, it is on Sky, but uh, I probably won't, I'll probably just watch the Washington game against the Eagles, uh, but um, yeah, I'm sure it would be it would be a decent game, I'm sure the Patriots will score a few times, Cam Newton is very good, not as good as he used to be, but he's still pretty decent, uh, still got decent offence, some very, very good defence still, and I think, I think they'll easily beat the Dolphins, easily. Uh, then I've got the Indianapolis Colts beating the Jacksonville Jaguars, and yeah, another one. I think I think this will be a pretty pretty simple game. Um, I think the Jags are going to do quite bad this year. They might even have the number one pick in the draft. They're going to be up there anyway, at least. And yeah, Colts are going to beat the Jags. Then the Chargers. I've got beating the Bengals. Um, I don't think this will be insanely easy but I think it would be another somewhat comfortable one um, I think the Bengals are going to do better than the last year but nothing special nothing special at all and then I have the Tennessee Titans beating the Denver Broncos uh, Derek Henry is just an amazing running back Ryan Townhill is a pretty good quarterback I know some people don't think he's that good but I quite I quite quietly rate um, Ryan Tannehill I think he's decent and AJ Brown is a very good wide receiver they've just signed Jadavian Clowney he's very good don't know if he'll be able to become as good as he has been in the past but he is pretty decent still 
So yeah, I, I think I think the Titans will beat the Broncos. Uh, then I've got the Raiders beating the Panthers. The Panthers are another team I can't see doing much this year. I can't see the Raiders doing a lot either, to be honest. But I, panf- I think the Panthers are going to be quite bad indeed this year. And then I have the Steelers beating the Giants. Steelers, I think they're primed for a pretty good year this year. Uh, they might even... Uh, compete for their division I really wouldn't be surprised if they won their division um, I think the Ravens are probably going to win it but I really wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers did manage to win it Big Ben Roethlisberger is back he's a very good quarterback and the defence is very very good I think they're going to easily beat the Giants then I've got the Seahawks beating the Falcons um, I think this could be a close game but I think the Seahawks will win um, again, the, it's just one of those ones where they just have a bit too much for the Falcons and they will come out on top in the end. I think Russell Wilson is amazing. Matt Ryan's pretty good as well, to be fair. But yeah, I do think they will come out in, on top in the end. Then I have Washington beating Philadelphia. Um, some of you might not agree with me on this one. I understand why. Washington didn't have the greatest year last year. However... It was a really messy year. Uh, Jay Gruden was a dreadful coach. Um, now they've got in Ron Rivera, who's a very good coach. He's been to the Super Bowl before. And we've got Jack Del Rio. He's an amazing uh, defensive coordinator. You know, we've brought in Chase Young, an amazing defensive end. Um, and young players from last year are only getting better. Um, we should have beat Philly last year, but... The coaching let us down and we fucked up a lead at half time. So yeah, I do think Washington will beat the Eagles this time around. Then I've got the Bears edging out the Lions. I think it'll be a close game. I don't think the Lions will get destroyed. I think Matthew Stafford is a very good quarterback, very underrated. Yeah. Kenny Golladay is a very good wide receiver. And with Adrian Peterson now there as well as DeAndre Swift. Their run game could be quite decent this year. But like I said, the Bears are just going to win this one. I think their defense is pretty good and Khalil Mack is amazing. I've got the Vikings beating the Packers. I think the Vikings are going to win their division this year. I think it would be a close game, but the Vikings will just edge it out. Um, the Packers, they didn't do great last year. I know they made it into the playoffs and they did all right near the end of the year, but overall they weren't great. And yeah, I just, I really do see the Vikings winning their division this year. I think the Packers will probably still make the playoffs, especially with that extra team uh, in the playoffs this year. But I, I really do think the Vikings are going to win this one and they're going to win the division. Then I've got the 49ers beating the Cardinals. I think this will be a close one. I think the Cardinals are primed for a decent year. Nothing amazing, but decent. And I think there will be a team that will have an upset against some teams here and there and really challenge teams and be very competitive. Even if they don't win a lot, they will be very competitive. Uh, but the 49ers defense and run game is just amazing and I just can't see them not beating the Cardinals. Then I've got the Saints beating the Buccaneers. I think the Buccaneers are very overrated. I think they've brought in some very good players. But I do think coming into week one, with all these players coming in, they're going to be a bit cocky. And uh, I think the Saints are going to bring them back down to earth and they're going to win this one. And then for the last game of week one, I have, unfortunately, the Cowboys beating the Rams. And on the road you know I don't want this to happen but I think it will I'm going to say the Cowboys are going to beat the Rams it will be close they won't destroy them but I'm going to say they're going to just edge them out okay so that's it for week one of the 2020-2021 NFL regular season predictions I hope you enjoyed I hope you liked my predictions And be sure to let me know your predictions and your thoughts on my predictions down below in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe. See you all later.